everybody welcome back to my video my name's Alyssa or to my channel um, I do my grocery shopping a little differently I do not have a meal plan I do not have a grocery list that I buy the same thing or always have the same things in my house I shop sales at my local garage my, my local garage sale my local store and then um, <clears throat> I shop discount stores we have six now we have a new one that's just opened up today um, discount Amish salvage stores uh, within about 35 45 minutes of my house and so I just go and I buy good deals and then I cook out of my pantry uh, we do have a deep freeze a couple deep freezes and we uh, we do get a half of beef from my brother who raises beef cattle so I don't just go in and buy things I don't make a meal and meal plan and go buy what I need to make those meals uh, with prices like they are right now I'm so glad and so happy that I already shop how I do. Uh, it just make, it takes the stress off. I'm not. Sh it's I'm flabbergasted, completely in shock of, about prices, even at the discount stores, and the Amish stores. Um, I'm just amazed at how the prices have gone up so much, even there. Um, but I can still shop and get things within my budget. So I have actually three of the new store haul for you and I'll give you a review of that when we get to it and then I have two of my normal ones my one I go to every week and then the other one I go to about once a month so let me flip you around and show you and I know the one that week it's not going to look like a lot but I spent 130 dollars um, but I'll explain that in a minute and um a little bit here in the middle is a new one and then this was a huge haul that was $71.50 great great deals so we'll start with this one so I go to every week and I picked up two they have these Hansons they're the root beer and then the tangerine lime um, soda and they're made with cane sugar they're so good our girls love them our girls we get pop once a week so uh, that was my um, oldest giving a thumbs up uh, and they love those so I picked up two of those those are three for or two for three dollars so a buck and a half a piece then I picked up this is a gallon of olives we go through olives like there's no tomorrow so it was ten dollars for 80 ounces of olives which is a great deal so I picked up two of those I picked up a bag of brown sugar because it was 79 cents a pound um, Costco has not had I think at Costco at 77 cents a pound they haven't had any the last probably month or two that I've been going so I went ahead and picked up that at my bolt store um, then they had pickles these were $1.49 if you buy a case you get 10% off and these are the sweet stop please sweet uh, midget pickles classic so I bought four cases so that is what three six nine dollars a case and then you get 90 cents off so 820 a case um, which is a great deal um, so that was a lot of money um, I also picked up they had these Dannon smoothies the pina colada and they were a pack of eight for a dollar ninety nine so I picked up one of those. I probably should have picked up two or three because they're so good, but we don't need two or three. Then they had the Chobani Flip Peach Cobbler. My oldest is eating one right now. And they had a case of 12 for $2.99, which is another great deal. Um, cream cheese, holy macaroni. It's gone up so much. It was $2.29 a brick at the discount store so but they had this this is a garden vegetable and um, it was $3.99 for three pounds so I went ahead and picked up that we eat this a lot on wraps instead of using mayo I'll use this and ham and cheese and tomatoes lettuce and do wraps um, so I grabbed, picked up that then I picked up bacon yeah you guys know I don't need to tell you I've been holding out I like to pay $1.99 for bacon but it, there's just no way I'm gonna find it for $1.99. This was $2.49, Jamestown brand. Um, 
sliced bacon hardwood smoked 249 for a pound so i grabbed uh four pounds of that i picked up the white chop baking chocolate these were two for a dollar i grabbed two of those um now if you guys watched my video uh, i told you about getting cocoa powder and how there was none my regular discount store has it quite often or it has it not quite often yes they quite often have it um, but they had plenty of it, so I just went ahead and picked up one to compare prices. It's three fifty nine a pound, so a little cheaper. Just picked up a little bag of that. We'll go through it. Then they still had these Hershey Hersheyettes. They're like M and M's, and they are ninety nine cents a pound. So I grabbed two bags of those, and uh, we use these. Um, I just use them instead of M and M's. So for like monster cookies or um, seven layer bars. M&M cookies, stuff like that. I use those. They're all white, but the kids don't care what color they are. They just like the taste. They also had this dark chocolate coating, and it was for it was a dollar forty nine pounds. So I picked up a bag of those to use with those pretzels that I bought. You should have seen that video last week. Um, so grab those. They had these dilly bites, and we have pickles. We have gallon jars of dill pickles, but these are so nice to just take with us on picnics or for snacks. Um, my girls are going to friends' houses tomorrow, and I'm packing snacks for them, so they'll take some of these. It's just a great quick snack to have. Um, then I picked up can lids, and these, these were crazy. These wide mouths were $4.69, and the regular were $3.19. So that, I feel like I'm missing something. Um, nope. I, yeah. I mean, I just brought it home, and unpacked and put it in i didn't put anything in my freezer i put the yogurts in the fridge but i got those out to show you so i don't know what i'm missing i feel like i'm missing something but that was uh, my regular store then this was the new store so the new store i probably will not be going there a lot and probably only stopping in if i happen to be driving by and i do drive by there occasionally so i probably will be stopping in but their prices were pretty ridiculously expensive um they only had one of these otherwise i would have i would have bought all they had but these are the true fruit um i hadn't seen the raspberries i haven't tried the strawberries yet i've heard the strawberries are amazing um but the the raspberries are amazing oh my word they were 289 so good you can see we've already opened those and then they had these dark chocolate mcvitties digestives um at my other store, when I can get them, I usually pay 99 cents for them. They haven't had them in a while. We enjoy them. They were $2.19. In the regular stores, they're $3.69 I think $3 and $4.99, $5.99 at the different stores I go to. So I just went ahead and picked them up. $2.19, I picked up six of them. That'll last us a long time. Um, there's this Nixie Sparkling Water. It's a strawberry hibiscus. And their sparkling waters were just ridiculous expensive but this one was only $1.99 for um, an eight pack so I thought that was a good deal so I went ahead and grabbed that and what's funny is I just taste tested this at Costco uh, I think it was the strawberry mint though and I really liked it like that brand so it was kind of funny that they had it there so I grabbed that and then I picked up this this is you guys know we love ginger beer so um, this was $1.99 for a six pack and these are 16 ounce bottles so it's a great, it's a great deal. I don't know this brand, but we will try it. Q Spectacular Ginger Beer. So that was all I picked up at that store. And then this was the de steals and deals. Oh my goodness. I spent $71.50. And you can see I had to stack it and pack it on the end of my table. Um, Back, I'll start back here. Um, I picked up two boxes of instant grits for a friend. She can't find them. So they were 79 cents. I picked up this lower sugar Quaker quick oats, microwave oats, strawberries and cream four, peaches and cream four. Um, so I am going to have, I bought them for myself to eat for breakfast. Then I picked these up for my oldest. They are the famous Amos Belgian chocolate 10 pack small snack packs. Um, and they were $2.49. So about 25 cents a 
package, which is what I usually pay for those, so that was a good deal. Um, I picked up two cans of the sweet potato casserole just to add to my pantry, and then this. <gasps> my oldest, she's sitting here beside me, she's drilling. She asked me a long time ago to look for these. I haven't even found them in the regular stores, but they happen to have them in the discount store today. So we picked up six cans, three with fried apples with cinnamon and three just fried apples. And I'm sure she will devour them. I probably should have picked up more. They were 69 cents a can. My youngest asked for these Cocoa Puffs. They were $2.15 a box, which isn't bad for a large family size. I picked up, this is the LaCroix. I, you can see it's already open because I've already had one. The LaCroix Curate. I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it, but this is the Cherry Lime. Um, and that was, that's a little pricey. It was $2.99, but I really enjoy those flavors, so I went ahead and picked it up. Um, then the LaCroix Key Lime, which is another favorite. It was a six pack for $1.99, which again, isn't the greatest price, but um, it's still not horrible. So, and then this was the steal of a deal. And this is, this is why the LaCroix, I'm not too upset. This is the Spindrift. This is the raspberry lime flavor, and it was 79 cents. So... If I, I figure I paid a buck and a half for that one, and then I only paid a buck and a half for that one. That makes me much happier. So, um, yes, moving on. See, I had told you I have tons of stuff. Sweet and condensed milk. Oh, my word. Have you seen the price of sweet and condensed milk? At one of the stores, it was three eighty nine dollars for a can of sweet and condensed milk. I about fell over. So... They had it there for 99 cents, so I went ahead and picked up six cans. That's all they had. Uh, my oldest asked for these. These are Jet Puff Marshmallow Bites Coconut Chocolate. They were 59 cents. I picked up, I'm always picking up Duke's mayonnaise if I find it because I love it. This little jar was 59 cents. I grabbed that. Got some Cezanne flavor seasoning, which I use a lot, 99 cents. As you can see, this is Goya. Um, this one was 45 cents. I picked up some pineapple ice cream topping just because it's summer and sounds good, 99 cents. Um, I've been looking at these at the other uh, stores too. They are 99 cents for Hungry Jack Original um, maple syrup, pancake syrup, whatever you want to call it. I know it's not real maple, but... We like it, we eat it, and it had been like $1.49 at one store and $1.29 at another, so when it's out there for 99, I went ahead and picked up a couple. Then I have not seen this before. This is the Cezanne Tropical All-Purpose Marinade and Dressing. So I am excited to try this out. I, um, I grilled chicken, I marinade chicken in, well, I use the powder, I use this, and um, marinade chicken with this and olive oil and some garlic and it's so good so I'm excited to try this one um, I picked up some more um, I know this is probably I don't know heresy or something but this is the instant creole roux mix and I use this to make my shepherd's pie <laughs> it works so well $1.99 picked up one of those they only had one of these randomly and I just picked it up to throw it in the pantry because you never know when you need a cheese sauce, 25 cents. Then I picked up, these were a great deal. This is the Chi Chi's restaurant style mild salsa and they were 99 cents. So again, I took all they had. I, they had six of them. Um, we hit our Indian um, sauces pretty hard this winter. We eat a lot in the winter. Um, a lot of Indian food in the winter, so I went ahead and picked up these. They only had two. They were 59 cents. The Rogan Gosh Curry Simmer Sauce. Um, I picked up one bottle of uh, Hickory Red Barbecue Sauce. I picked up four packages of yellow rice. They haven't had it lately. I used to get there all the time. Um, and I make my own, but it's still nice to have these quick, easy ones. They were 79 cents. Um... I picked up some white 
chocolate chips for $1.25. Grab two bags of those. And then this was this was another one of those deals where um, kind of a little miscommunication with my mom. They had these M&Ms, the snack size snack packs. They had peanut for 99 cents. They only had a couple of peanut. She gave me two. And then um, I guess I didn't put these. My daughter put these all in my cart. Um, they had like 10 of the regular M&Ms. 11. Milk chocolate, 11 milk chocolate M&Ms. So we, <laughs> she threw five in my cart and six in grandma's cart. And um, we took out those. So we <coughs> use them. They're great. Uh, this was another great deal. The Laughing Cow. We love it. You know how pricey it is. But they had it for 99 cents. So I grabbed two of those. And then uh, we actually had one of these for lunch today, the Hormel um, Homestyle Mashed Potatoes and the Loaded <laughs> Mashed Potatoes um, for $1.59, just for a quick, quick, easy meal. And again, for this, this was Smithfield's Pulled White Meat Chicken, two seventy nine, dollars and it was a pound, so or 18 ounces, more than a pound, so that was a great deal. A um, couple last-minute things here. This video is getting long. Uh, my girls got to pick out a drink. My oldest picked out a Gatorade, and I think these are 35 cents, 55 cents? 57. 57 cents. My youngest picks out these barrels. Um, they're 15 cents. She already drank one. They have these Land of Lakes raspberry and chocolate cocoa mix, which are excellent. I have a friend who makes cocoa bombs, and this is what she puts in them. So good. Uh, they were five for a dollar, so I picked up ten of those. They had some Tetley British decaffeinated black tea, so I picked that up for my husband. It was a dollar seventy-nine. And then they had these English breakfast decaffeinated, um, and they were for, they were a dollar twenty-nine. And then they have these sparkling waters, all the different kinds, different flavors. You never know what they're going to have. And they're 10 cents a can, which is great. So this is the Bull and Basket, which is Target's brand. And they had black cherry and watermelon. I haven't tried their sparkling waters before, so I grabbed uh, just four or two of each. As you see, one is missing because I'm drinking it right now. And it's okay. It's I, I tried the watermelon. Um, I don't know that I would get the watermelon again. I'm excited to try the black cherry because I really like black cherry. So we'll see how that is. And then um, they had a bowl and basket pineapple juice that I grabbed for $1.50. So that's it, guys. My 150 my or my, sorry, my seventy one fifty. I don't even remember how much that was. And then um, my 130 something. So I... <laughs> This is kind of funny. I, you write checks at all these places, and um, I ran out of checks this morning at my first stop. So I don't have any checks. So my mom was writing checks for me today. So that's why I don't know exactly how much they were, because she just kept track of it, and I write her a check, and we'll be good. But that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos, you keep want to keep them coming, please like and subscribe down below, and I will keep them up. Thanks, and have a great and wonderful week. Bye.